Hey, it's Andy here from NewPower. Here's a quick tutorial on how to compress your large video files. And here we have an example video file. And as you can see, it's 141 megabytes big, but it, it's only actually one minute in length. So that's actually a pretty big file, probably shot in 4K or something like that. We like to use a tool called Handbrake to compress our files, and it's free and it's available on multiple platforms. Just head to the downloads page on their website to find the, the installer for your platform. And once installed, it'll look something like this. And as soon as you open it, it's going to ask you to open the file that you want to compress. So here I'm going to select my original video and it will scan the file. Now inside Handbrake, it looks pretty daunting. There's multiple settings, most of which are actually hidden by lots of different tabs here. So there's so many settings that you can actually play with to get to compress your files. But here they've included lots of different presets for very common scenarios. So their default one, a fast 1080p 30 frames per second is normally a good one if you want pretty high quality and smaller file size. But actually in this case, and I think for most cases, I generally use 720p at 30 frames per second. So I'm going to select that one. The only other setting that I normally play with is whether I want the, the video to be optimized for web. And that just optimizes it for streaming files. So it enables the people to stream it straight away without having to wait for the whole file to download. And then all you need to do other than that is to check where you're saving your file. So at this point here, it's going to try and overwrite the file. So let's um, change the file name so that we can see that it's a compressed one. And then all you need to do now is hit start encode. It will take a little bit of time to compress your file. So we're going to speed it up so that you don't have to wait and watch that happen. So let's take a look at what the compressed file looks like. And as you can see here, they look very similar. Um, if we select it, it is now actually 14.6 megabytes in size. So it's come down from 141 to 14.6 megabytes in size. So let's take a look at the video to make sure that it hasn't been messed up in any type of way. It's hard to pick out the quality of it here. So please check out the description where you'll find a link to download the original file and the compressed version. Hopefully that quick tutorial was useful, but if you have any ideas to share or feedback, then please use the comments below.